Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Robus Rants. Before I start today's episode, I just want to ask you to please subscribe, uh, like, and make sure you share the video. If you hit the bell, it will notify you every time I do a stream. Um, when you hit the bell, it, you'll have a drop down menu, click all, and that will have you notified every time a stream becomes available. I sort of do them in twos and threes and then take a few days off and then do a few more. Um, so, you know, if you see a video go out, chances are there's more than one. So, you know, take a look. Uh, today's episode is going to be on the Canadian men's national soccer team. Um, they are in contract negotiations with Soccer Canada. Um, fortunately, they are only receiving at this point or their contract uh, allows them to only get 10% of the earnings uh, when they attend the World Cup. They are negotiating to get 40% of the earnings. They also want to have a friends and family uh, package for when they're in Qatar. Uh, in the past, the Canadian men's soccer team has not done as well, so they didn't have very much negotiating power. But now we have greats like Alfonso Daisies, Davies uh, on our team, um, and the team is doing very well. Unfortunately, the lottery put us in a div quite a difficult uh, division. We'll be playing Morocco, Belgium, and Croatia. Um, I don't know much about Morocco, but I... Belgium and Croatia are very good competition for us. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But like I said, currently um, we're also in contract disputes, which is not a good thing to be doing six months before you have to go play in the World Cup. Um, another uh, um, thing that they're asking for in their contract is that the women's team actually has a developmental um program for the women's soccer team and that they also get paid the 40%. Um, currently, if I look at my notes, the men will be making 440 million through FIFA and the woman only makes 60 million. So that's substantially uh, a great difference. I know a lot of people say, you know, the women's teams don't do as well and don't draw as many fans, uh, but the women's soccer team are uh, cup finalists, uh, cup winners, um, and have done well in having support from the fans. Uh, so they have a good uh, fight on their hands as to uh, why they should be also getting a good chunk of the, uh, the pie. Uh, soccer uh, business what had signed a 10-year deal that is federally funded from the government to support our our. Canadian soccer athletes and um, they seem to want to keep things status quo um, I don't know what they're doing with the rest of the money so that's something that needs to be brought up um, you know if if our teams are doing well they need to be compensated they you know you want your players to want to pay for their home country and some players have the ability to pay for more than one country. So let's have those players compensated properly so they don't leave and choose to pick another country that they can also support. Um, you know, soccer in Canada is up and coming. We've got a lot more athletes um, coming through our developmental programs. Um, and we wanna see this continue. We wanna see the growth in, of soccer uh, in our our country and the only way to do that is to compensate and develop our players so soccer canada let's get on board let's support our players they deserve it they've got a great team they played phenomenally they beat the u.s several times this year uh, and it's always been the u.s's our team to beat and we've done that we have played well in Concacaf. Uh, so let's see what happens. We've got six months to get this straightened. Don't tell me that our athletes are going to not show up at the World Cup because of contract negotiations. That would be such a shame, especially since, like I said, it's only been the second time since 1986 that they're getting there. Um, Soccer Canada, step up, do what's right for our athletes. Um, if you like this content, if you are supporting what I'm saying, 
please put a, a, a yes in the comment section. Uh, even if you're not a Canadian, but you think that soccer is a sport that needs to be developed um, in, in North America, uh, put a, a yes in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you shortly.